ever wondered how many of those wild conspiracy theories circulating the internet have a shred of truth to them? In this vast digital age, we're constantly bombarded with tales of secret societies, hidden agendas and clandestine operations. It's easy to dismiss them as mere flights of fancy, the product of overactive imaginations. But what if I told you that sometimes these seemingly outlandish notions hold water, intrigued? Well, buckle up as we delve into the top 10 strangest conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. At number 10, we have Operation Northwoods. This tale of intrigue hails from the halls of the US Department of Defense. Imagine, if you will, a plot to justify military intervention in Cuba during the Cold War. The plan? A false flag operation involving the US government committing acts of terrorism against its own people and blaming it on the Cuban government. Yes, you heard that right. It was a scheme so audacious, so chilling, it seems more at home in a spy novel than in the annals of real government strategy. Thankfully, this proposed operation never saw the light of day, vetoed by President Kennedy himself. But the mere fact that it was conceived in the first place, that's enough to make your hair curl. Quite a shocker that this was even considered, isn't it? Coming in at number nine is the infamous Tuskegee Syphilis Study. This dark chapter of American history unfolded during the mid 20th century, perpetrated by none other than the US Public Health Service. In a shocking breach of medical ethics, the agency launched a study to observe the natural progression of untreated syphilis, exploiting hundreds of African-American men in Tuskegee, Alabama. These individuals, who were mostly poor and illiterate, were led to believe they were receiving free health care for their bad blood, a colloquial term used to describe several ailments, including syphilis. The truth, however, was far more sinister. Even after penicillin was established as an effective cure for syphilis, the men in the study were deliberately kept in the dark and denied treatment. The study continued unabated for four decades until a whistleblower finally brought it to public attention. The Tuskegee Syphilis Study stands as a grim reminder of what can happen in the name of science. Number eight brings us to the mind-bending MK Ultra. Now buckle up, because this one is a real trip. At the height of the Cold War, the CIA embarked on a covert and downright sinister program named Project MK Ultra. The goal? To master the art of mind control. I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen. The agency conducted experiments on unsuspecting human subjects, dabbling in everything from hypnosis and sensory deprivation to LSD. Yes, the government was giving people acid, and if that wasn't enough, they also explored the use of other drugs, electroshocks, and even psychological torture. Quite a cocktail, don't you think? Many of these experiments were not only unethical, but downright illegal. Yet for years, they were swept under the rug, hidden away from public scrutiny. It was only in the late 70s that the extent of these clandestine activities was finally brought to light. And that, my friends, is MK Ultra for you. The truth really can be stranger than fiction. At number seven, we find Operation Paperclip. Now, this isn't about a worldwide shortage of stationery. No, it's far more intriguing. Picture this. The Cold War is just kicking off and the United States is looking for an edge. And where do they find it? In the minds of Nazi Germany's scientists of all places. Yes, you heard it right. In a move that seems ripped straight from a spy novel, the US government recruited hundreds of German scientists, engineers and technicians. These were the same minds that had been instrumental in the Nazi war machine, now working for Uncle Sam. Talk about a brain gain. Operation Paperclip, as it was known, was a clandestine program aimed at gaining an upper hand in the looming Cold War and the subsequent space race. The ethical implications were, to put it mildly, murky. But hey, all is fair in love, war, and apparently science recruitment. Talk about a plot twist in the history books. Number six unveils Operation Mockingbird. Now this is a tale that will have you re-evaluating your trust in the media. Picture this, it's the early years of the Cold War. The fear of communism is palpable and the United States Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, is hatching up something big. They call it Operation Mockingbird. The alleged goal, to manipulate news media for propaganda purposes on a scale you wouldn't believe. The CIA sought to control the narrative, influencing everything from the morning paper to the evening news. They recruited journalists from across the globe turning them into puppets for their own political agenda. 
spreading their version of truth to the masses. This wasn't just about winning a war, it was about controlling minds, shaping perceptions and dictating public opinion. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? A world where the news isn't just the news. Makes you second guess everything you read, doesn't it? Halfway through at number five, we have the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Now, this is a tale that takes us back to the tumultuous times of the Cold War. The year was 1964, and the world was watching as the United States and North Vietnam were locked in a tense standoff. In the waters of the Gulf of Tonkin, US naval forces reported being attacked by North Vietnamese vessels. Not just once, but twice within a span of two days. This incident was the spark that ignited the US government's decision to intensify their involvement in the Vietnam War. However, years later, declassified documents and investigative reports would bring to light a shocking revelation. The second attack, the one that really pushed the US into war, well, it may have never happened at all. It was a phantom, a spectre used to justify a full-blown war, a single incident, a world of consequences. At number four, we meet the Nayira testimony. Let's take a moment to delve into this fascinating yet chilling revelation. In 1990, a 15-year-old girl known as Nayira gave a heart-wrenching testimony before the US Congress. She detailed horrifying accounts of Iraqi soldiers taking babies out of incubators in Kuwait, leaving them to die on the cold floor. Her story, as it turned out, was a fabrication, a lie that was masterfully crafted by a public relations firm hired by the Kuwaiti government. The goal? To stir up support for the US involvement in the Gulf War. This tale of deception had a profound impact, swaying public opinion and even influencing lawmakers. The truth eventually surfaced, but not before the US had launched Operation Desert Storm, a stark reminder of the power of deception and the lengths some will go to achieve their goals. And so, we conclude the tale of the Nayira testimony, a lie that led to a war. In the third spot, we have the Manhattan Project. This was no ordinary project, mind you. It was a top secret mission with a goal that would change the world forever. In the early 1940s, amidst the turmoil of World War II, a group of scientists, under the veil of utmost secrecy, embarked on a journey to harness the power of the atom. Yes, you heard it right. The Manhattan Project was the birthplace of the atomic bomb. The United States government, fearing the worst from their adversaries, decided to create the deadliest weapon known to man. The clandestine nature of this project was so intense that even Vice President Harry Truman was kept in the dark until he assumed presidency. The project culminated in the tragic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, demonstrating the destructive capabilities of the atomic age. Truly, the Manhattan Project was a secret that changed the course of history. Runner-up at number two, we have the Watergate scandal. Now this, my friends, is the granddaddy of political scandals. Picture it, the early 70s, a time of groovy music and flared trousers. But in the hallowed halls of the White House, things were far from groovy. President Richard Nixon's administration was involved in a covert operation to bug the offices of the Democratic National Committee at the Watergate complex. The aim, to gain an unfair advantage in the upcoming election. But as they say, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. The operation was busted. The fallout was unprecedented. Amidst mounting evidence and the threat of impeachment, Nixon did the unthinkable. He became the first and only US president to resign from office. The Watergate scandal was a stark reminder that even those in the highest echelons of power could be held accountable. A scandal that shook the nation. And at number one, we have the Snowden revelations. In 2013, a young computer analyst by the name of Edward Snowden shook the world to its core. Working for the National Security Agency, or NSA, Snowden had access to some of the world's most closely guarded secrets. What he unveiled was a global surveillance program that seemed to be ripped straight out of a dystopian novel. From the comfort of their offices, intelligence agencies could peek into the lives of ordinary citizens, accessing phone records, emails, and even private online chats. The boundary of privacy was not just blurred, it was completely obliterated. No corner of the earth was left untouched, as the surveillance program spanned continents, infiltrating even the most remote areas of the world. 
Snowden's revelations changed our perception of privacy forever. In a digital age where information is currency, the question remains, just how private are our lives? A revelation that made us question our privacy. And there you have it. An array of the 10 most peculiar conspiracy theories that, against all odds, turned out to be true. From the audacious Operation Northwoods to the startling Snowden revelations, we've journeyed through a labyrinth of deceit, intrigue and secret operations. It's a stark reminder that reality can often surpass the wildest imaginations. So next time you stumble upon a seemingly outrageous conspiracy theory, bear in mind, sometimes truth is indeed stranger than fiction. <laughs>